Virgo. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with every Virgo watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Knight of Wands in reverse, okay. Definitely dealing with someone who's been very in and out, in and out of your life, okay. This is someone very, very inconsistent. Someone that you're dealing with who's been very unsure about you, okay. This could also be you, Virgo, like I said, right? Energies can be interchangeable. So yeah, this could be you who was really passionate about someone, but right now you're holding back. There's a lack of forward movement. There's no action being taken, okay. Could be you, could be them. So no more. Justice. There is some kind of karmic justice coming in, okay? If something was unfair in the past, something was unbalanced, someone was not, someone was cheating, like whatever was happening, right? Things are going to be fair. You're going to get what you deserve, Virgo, okay? Someone's coming in to restore balance to the situation. Justice can also be something committed, okay? It can be a commitment, it can be marriage, or it can just be a court situation, something legal, okay? Four of Wands, see? The justice in Four of Wands, that is a marriage card here, Virgo. Yep, definitely a lot of stability being restored, a lot of harmony, etc. But with the Four of Wands here, there is a situation here, probably uh, someone who's wanting to look at you as uh, something long term. Okay, this is someone who sees you as long term marriage material. But this person definitely wants to move in with you, etc. Okay, because what they're bringing is the justice here. All right, tell me more about Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? Two of Pentacles in reverse. I think this was someone here who was juggling you with two people, okay, or juggling you, or they was just not sure. They were in two minds, weighing out the pros and cons of whether they wanted to be with you or not. Okay, now they've made up their mind. Or this could be someone here who was in and out of your life and you chose to drop them, okay? You would you drop them. You made up your mind and you dropped them. We'll see when we clarify. There's definitely a decision that's being made here with the page of pentacles, yeah. Someone is coming towards you, okay? This is someone who wants to finally invest into you, okay? And uh, someone, but but I'm getting someone who's been very immature, all right? The page of pentacles is a big no, right? So definitely someone who, um, you know, I'm getting the page of pentacles, usually someone who reaches out with an offer, okay? Who's wanting communication, that's what's coming in, right? They want to make an investment. Like I said, you know, if you guys are not talking, they want to wave the white flag, but um you know, there's someone who take their own time, you know, they don't give their energy to everybody. All right, but they're constantly obsessing and think about how to make something work out with you. Okay, because something's making sense long term to them. Could be them with the two of pentacles in reverse here, who's very clear about what they want. Maybe earlier they were trying to balance you with something else or just weighing out the pros and cons. But yeah. Ace of Wands, yep, that's what this person wants. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. They want a new start with you, a clean slate. Six of Cups, because baby doll, they miss you. This is a reconciliation. Someone wants a reconciliation with you, Virgo. They're coming back. This, person's want, this person wants to come back in. They want to offer you something stable, okay? And at the same time, they want a new start with you. That's your soulmate, okay? This doesn't have to be an ex. This can just be someone, you know, uh, who... Um, I don't know why I keep moving the cards. Okay, this is also someone here who you've had good memories with. Could be a childhood friend, whoever, right? But someone you've had the sweetest memories with. There could be a very significant age difference between you guys or something very significant, okay? But this is a soulmate connection. High priestess, someone's finally breaking the silence. This person could be giving you the silent treatment, okay? This is, could be a problem between you guys is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, again, I'm getting you both probably live poles apart here. This is, could be an issue between you guys. Someone was not taking control of the situation, okay? And they were just keeping quiet, okay? They knew what was exactly going on, but they chose to keep quiet. But someone's finally going to break the silence. Something's going to be revealed is what I'm getting, okay? Maybe one more card. Yep, that here. Uh, we'll see if this is an ending here, okay, and a new beginning, or if this is just a complete ending to something, okay? We're going to see. Let's see if you're ending things with this person, or this is this person here who's completely transformed and changed. Who wants to transform this relationship into something new, okay? You know, right? Clarifications can change the entire reading. Okay. 
Dankeschön. Alright, Clan for the Knight of Wands in Reverse. Who is this Knight of Wands in Reverse? Queen of Cups in Reverse. Yep, you were in love with someone who was in and out, in and out of your life, okay? And now, because of this person's inconsistency, uh, they were unreliable, they were unsincere, insincere in their offers towards you, and they would just come and get what they want and leave, okay? Because of this hot and cold behavior, you have lost all emotions for them, okay? You've completely withdrawn yourself emotionally from this person and now you become very bitter towards this person, okay? That's the kind of person who's probably still again wanting to come in towards you. Six of Pentacles. I mean, I, I didn't ask the question. All right, maybe this is what you wanted, okay? This is what this person's now wanting to come towards you and offer you. Like I said, something was one-sided. That's why the justice here. This person gave you the bare minimum. They didn't give you what you deserve, okay? Or you just felt like they were taking advantage of you, okay? They're coming in to balance the situation. But they're very, they're coming in very impulsive, very reckless, okay? Um, even if this person is not coming towards you, this is just someone who's very impulsive and reckless, okay? That you've been in love with. Okay, and now they're trying to, there's some kind of balance that you're trying to bring towards, bring in this relationship. Actually, you're trying to get balance within yourself, okay, by not giving in to this person, okay. You're going to find that reciprocity somewhere else or finding that reciprocity within yourself. Yeah, but you're choosing to shut down emotionally from this person. What's the justice? Strength here. Yeah. Someone holding back, withdrawing. Holding back their emotions. What's the strength and the justice? Two major arcanas. What's the strength and the justice? Someone's coming in to make something right and it's taking a lot of strength. Okay, it's see star here. You have a wish come true. This is a lot of healing. This is being in alignment with oneself. The star is also another card of reconciliation. Okay. I feel someone who was like this with you, right? Who was in and out. They didn't realize until you walked away. This person's taken their time to heal. You've healed from the situation and now it's taking a lot of courage, a lot of big, bold, brave moves. That they're making towards you in order for them in order for you to be able to reconcile with them with the star this is someone who's very very hopeful okay and they have a lot of faith that things will happen okay the star is also something very divine it's something very fated and destined okay but yeah with the justice here i feel someone is going to do everything that it takes to make things right with you they want to rectify a situation that went wrong in the past what's the four of wands Eight of Swords. You could be dealing with someone, you know, who was uh, either stuck in another commitment or when it came to wanting to get, wanting to get into a commitment with you, right? This person was very um, stuck tight bound to okay they were just feeling very stuck probably there was a family situation that got them stuck here okay but with the eight of swords here this person never really made up their mind okay they were always living in fear because they didn't know what action to take so they would just never take action when it came to uh wanting something um uh, committed with you okay they were always living in their fear living in their head tell me more about the four of wands and eight of swords what's this four of wands and eight of swords King of Pentacles, yep, that's why they were they were very focused on their career, their goals, their money, their business, etc. But also at the same time, this was someone who was just not interested in anything long term. Okay, they were they're, they're, they were very very materialistic person, someone very greedy with their energy. So this is what you wanted here, and this person kept you very stuck. Okay, the Eight of Swords to me is also someone where you chose to be stuck in a relationship here. Okay, maybe this was something long term commitment. It doesn't always have to be a commitment, but it was as good as a long term commitment. Okay, and probably it didn't reach that point of stability and security okay so i'm getting that this was a twin flame connection and you know how twin flame connections are right but this person refused to commit to you or refused to give you uh, that public recognition or you know introduce you to their family etc which kept you stuck okay and you were stuck out to this person for a very long time okay someone who was just not wanting to commit or not ready to commit What's the two of pentacles in reverse? What's the two of pentacles in reverse? The moon in reverse, yeah. There has been something that has come to light, okay? There has been a secret that has been revealed. Two of pentacles in reverse, moon in reverse with two of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting a lot of clarity. 
a lot of clarity. So I feel that this is someone you were dealing with who didn't know what they want. Okay. Again, they were very happy with you in this relationship, but they just don't know what they wanted or they didn't know if they were okay or ready to move or take this to the next level. Now this person is no longer juggling. Okay. They've made up their mind with the moon in reverse. So this person has more clarity, but I feel this person's released any kind of fear, stress and anxiety, which was uh, uh, regarding to this connection here. But also at the same time, I feel that this person is, um, what was I saying? Um, if they were trying to sabotage this, okay, they know about sabotaging this connection. They're finally ready to reveal their feelings, okay? Give me one more card for the moon in reverse. Yeah, magician, see? This person's manifesting a new beginning with you. This is someone hellbent on making something happen. They know they need, they have everything that they need to make things happen with you, and that's what they're doing. They're no longer holding on to any fear that was uh, holding on to them, okay? Uh, you know, Fear is one of the biggest reasons I see why this person was not being able to move on from you, all right? Um, but I know that they, they're ready to make things happen with you, okay? They're not going to let anything hold them back because they're coming in with that equal give and take. No matter how much strength it takes for them, they're still coming in towards you, okay? With that justice. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Okay, so um, this could be someone here with the Seven of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Someone who's coming in with an offer, but again, not the not the most open person. Okay, open as in what I mean is this is not someone who's an open book. All right, they always, always, always have a way around their talks. You'll always feel that there's something that they're hiding. You know, you're just never you never feel confident about them. Okay, they're probably constantly deceptive. But to me, with the Seven of Swords here, this is someone here who's being, with the Page of Pentacles here, someone who's being very, very strategic. Okay, being very strategic about their moves. And um, I'm feeling that they're in like that stealth mode. You know, they're withholding a lot of information. You know, that's why they're being deceptive here. So when this person comes in red, I feel they're being going to be very sneaky. See, that's where the magician you're right? They're being very quiet about their goals with you. This person does have an agenda in mind. Okay, but... Um, that's a lot of planning, okay? There's a lot of planning, strategizing, and action that's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Give me one more card here for the Seven of Swords. See, Four of Swords. That's what I said. This person is doing a lot of thinking right now. They're not ready to open up right yet, but this person is resting, healing, rejuvenating, okay? They're taking a step back and thinking a lot about it, okay? They're thinking and strategizing about how they can come towards you with this offer. It could be a small offer. It's a small offer with a page. It's a, It could be an apology. It could be a gift, whatever, right? It's small, but it's coming in. It holds some substantial value, okay, to it. Uh, what's the Ace of Wands here? This person is very, very, very attracted to you, okay? They have a lot of attraction towards you. They're very passionate about you. What's the Ace of Wands here? But they want a clean slate here. What's the Ace of Wands here? Whoa! See how contradictory uh, the energies are? Give me one more card. Why is the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Wands in reverse here? Why is the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Wands in reverse here? Hermit and reverse, yeah. I think there's a lot of confusion. All right, I'm getting a few stories. I'm going to throw them out there. One, I see that there is someone here who's want, who's come out of isolation, okay, who's been taking their own time and they're coming out of isolation and they're wanting to get this new start with you. But the problem here is that I'll put the hermit and reverse here. This could be someone who's not only isolated, but if they don't know how to snap back, they don't know when to snap out, it can turn into a little bit of uh, depression, okay, which means that they over isolate themselves, okay, they get too lonely and which causes a lot of confusion here. Okay, so one moment they want the new beginning with you, the next moment they don't take action. Okay, so it's like, yes, I want to, and no, I don't want, no, I can't. Not, not, I don't want it, no, I can't. Okay, so it's like that, you know, in and out, in and out energy here. But this person is extremely confused, extremely confused. I think this person knows what they want with you, but they're trying to distract themselves probably with their day to day activities so they don't have to go within, deep within, and try to, you know, like um, get those answers from within. They're trying to find the answers outside. Okay, they're not going within themselves. That's what I'm getting here. It's like I want to, but I don't want to, you know. See, because with the Eight of Pentacles and Reverse here, they're still not putting in the work. See, that's what I'm saying. With the Ace of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, they're still not putting in the work. They're manifesting you, 
Okay, they're thinking a lot about it. They're planning, strategizing. They're probably even holding back their feelings because they have a lot of love for you. But they still don't know how to come towards you because with Eight of Swords, it looks like this is someone who's stuck in their head. Okay, a lot of fear-based thinking. What's the Six of Cups here? What's the Six of Cups here? Try for the Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so you're definitely dealing with someone who did not commit to you. There was a lack of commitment here, okay? And there was a lack of clarity with the sun in reverse here, okay? Could be dealing with someone immature or this was just someone where things were just not in the light, okay? Everything was in the dark. Nothing was being revealed. You were probably, you wanted that illumination, okay? Of what's really going on. You wanted to know what's the exact story, you know? But uh, this is someone who definitely is coming back who things just didn't reach that point of stability and security okay you didn't reach that point of commitment you wanted to marry this person okay and this person probably was not being able to offer you that kind of uh, stability at that time okay but they miss you they miss you and they want to come back they are coming back all right tell me more about the high priestess in reverse what's the high priestess in reverse tell me about the high priestess in reverse Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, that's what's going to be revealed. This person's finally going to be ready to start opening their mouth. Okay, they're breaking their silence and that's a lot of talking, 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 you know. Like they're ready to open up. Okay, no more silent treatment. And what they want is with Ace of Pentacles is that they want a brand new beginning with you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, there are too many new starts here. They want to start the cycle with you again. They do. Because they regret what it didn't work out in the past year. Okay. But this is strategizing. I think this is someone who's just like strategizes a lot. Page of Pentacles to me is sometimes also like a procrastinator, okay? Like, yes, I will come in when that happens. Or only when things are right, when they feel it's the right time, they'll come in. And because of which there are a lot of missed opportunities, okay? Because of that procrastination attitude. But yeah, you've walked away with the Eight of Cups here. And now they want to come in with a new beginning here. So probably because you didn't say anything, you chose to keep silent, right? This person's probably there. They, they know that if they don't talk, you're just not going to talk either. Okay. That's one of the reasons why they're so fearful. But yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Judgment in reverse. Yeah. I feel you're not ready to give them a second chance here. Two things. Either this is someone here who does not want to repeat the past mistakes again, okay? But at the same time, I feel that there's an offer coming in. Someone here is ready to open up, okay? Ready to talk to you. They're ready to break their silence. They are doing it. They're going to talk to you. But with the judgment in reverse here, I feel that you are not wanting to give this a second opportunity, okay? There's a lack of reconciliation from your side. Tell me about the death here. Tell me about the death here. See, that's what I thought. The separation is still going to continue with the death and two of cups in reverse here. You're going to leave this as ended. Okay, you're going to leave it where it is because you've ended things with them because two of cups in reverse here, right? And the sun in reverse here. You don't see growth and expansion in this connection here, okay? Or there's just a lack of plain lack of clarity. Only because this person is keeping quiet, okay? Probably they're strategizing and they're just taking too long to come in. And I feel that you've given this person a lot of chances here. Why the two of cups in reverse? Eight of Wands in reverse, yeah. You're holding back communication. You're refusing or determined not to talk to this person. You're going to do everything to cut back communication or you're just going to block communication. I think you're blocking this person out. For you, it's ended, so it's ended. There's, there's nothing more that you want to do about this. Although they're coming in with that offer here, that's what I said, right? You don't want to give this a second chance here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Cups, see, there's a lot of crying over spilled milk out here. This person has a lot of remorse, regret, okay? Huge regret that they could have handled things differently, okay? They want to come back towards you. They want to. They're manifesting you. They now have clarity. The truth has been revealed, okay? They probably know. They now know what they feel for you. They want to balance out the situation here, okay? They have a lot of hope and faith, okay? But the thing is here that they're stuck in their head probably with the Eight of Swords here. They don't know what to do. They feel trapped. They don't see opportunities. They don't know how to come towards you. That's why there's so much strategizing going on, planning going on. But that action, you know, it's like Ace of Wands with the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? So it's like, yes, I want to take action. I'm going to take action. But the next moment when I think about taking action, I pull away, okay? And that's why probably I think this person's taking too much time here. 
which which looks to me like you're ending things with this person and you're gonna leave it the separation continues okay that's what i have for you if this reading resonates with you do like share subscribe guys and i would love to hear from you leave your comments below i will see you next time bye bye bye, -bye.